In my last video, we were contemplating the next steps for the cheap active dial. I mentioned using a Pro Mini because of its size, but there's something even smaller and more powerful. The ESP32C3 Mini. This board is roughly half the size of a Pro Mini, yet it packs USB-C, Wi-Fi and Bluetooth. I designed a cradle to hold both the ESP and the driver board, and screwed everything into place. Today we have two missions, fix the shocking backlash and get it talking to our PC. We will start with the backlash. Backlash is the gap in the gear interface too little and the gears bind too much and you end up with sloppy gearing as we have here. When I designed this originally, I didn't have too much faith in it working, so just used what seemed to work. But actually using it wasn't a nice experience. So we need to solve this by using smaller teeth. I only have an FDM printer. Making fine gears is a bit tricky. I moved down to a 0.8 millimeter module from a one millimeter module. This seems doable on my printer. At the same time, I chose hearing bone gears. These are a chevron type gear, which solves another problem. With straight cut gears, the gear can move up and down, causing it to rub either on the top or bottom of the case, causing drag. With the hearing bone gear, the gear is forced to stay aligned with the match gear, which we can easily move on the motor. A lot of the play was in the gear hole for the dial shaft. Tightening up this also reduced the play, creating a much improved backlash. Gluing the gear place would fix this entirely, I think. Next up we have the interface to our computer. We want the dial to move the volume on the computer and we want the slider in Windows to move the dial so they are both in sync. I couldn't really find any software that did both. So we had to make our own. Before we tackle that, let's talk about dial control. I want to make the dial as dumb as possible. If we make it too smart, we're stuck with whatever firmware logic it has. We don't want it doing any calculations. Uh, we just want it to receive commands and stream its current position. That's it. This way, all the brains live on the PC and the dial just follows orders. It's a simple, flexible design that lets us experiment later with haptics, positioning, or even automation, all handled in software. For now, we're using a small Python script that reads the current system volume and updates the dial position. The dial moves to match the volume and then releases the motor, so you can freely turn it by hand if you want to adjust it manually. All the code is available on my Patreon. Once everything's uploaded and running, it's pretty magical. Move the slider in Windows and the dial moves, move the dial and the slider moves. It took some fine tuning at first. It was like a cat chasing its tail, each one trying to follow the other, but we got it working smoothly. So what's next for the cheap active dial? First things first, if you have made it this far, I have plenty of other videos you're going to love, so hit that subscribe. Back to the dial, I'm looking at adding a digital potentiometer for the analog crowd. And I've also got an infrared remote in the mix, so you could add IR control to your PC as well. Let me know in the comments if you'd like to see that. Thanks for watching.